Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavitz Chaim and the Sefer Mitzvah HaKatsar. Mitzvah Ayin Aleph, the negative commandment, Mitzvah Loisa says 71 Al Hadayin, Shalomikach Shechet, a judge is not allowed to accept any bribe from either of the litigants for trying their case. Shenem Alagat says, Veshoichad Loisikach, a judge is not allowed to take a bribe. Va'afilu lodun emes, even if he takes the bribe just to be able to render a true judgment, because you cannot have a feeling of endearment to one litigant over the other. When the two litigants are standing in front of you, they are both going to be considered chayev, they are both guilty, until you render a judgment and you decide that one is guilty and one is innocent, we look at them both as guilty. When they walk out of the court, then we finally know who is the one that is in the right and who is the one that is in the wrong. If a dying, if a judge would end up taking a bribe, be it money, be it possessions, be it objects, movable objects and items or or as some kind of investment or anything of the like, if a dying, if a judge would take that, he is clouding his vision over here, he's blinding himself, and he's no longer able to see the emiss, the truth, properly because he feels more connected to one of the litigants over the other, and chances are that if there's a little piece of information that would make that particular litigant we um, lose the case, the judge will find a way to overlook the case and overlook the facts in order to be able to uphold his part of this relationship of the bribery which was given. The chayev lahachsir, and if a judge receives some kind of payment as a bribe, he's obligated to return the money immediately. He cannot hold on to it, or the possession, or the object, he cannot hold on. Even words of flattery are forbidden for one of the litigants to say, Oh, judge, you are the best judge on the, on the Supreme Court. Oh, I'm so happy that I got you because you really know how to judge a case. Ah, you're such a wonderful person. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Even the litigant cannot say even those words because that's also flattery. That also sways the judgment of this dying. No, you're saying the one who gives bribery to the judge, he transgresses another prohibition. And that prohibition is, in front of the blind person, you should not place a stumbling block. And that's what we're saying, that when a person gives bribery to the judge, even though the judge is a Tamil Chachim, and he's a Tzaddik, and he's a Kaddish, and he's on a high level of spirituality and, and Torah wisdom, nevertheless, when you give him bribery, you are turning him into a blind man because now he's blind from the truth. He's only seeing the money or the objects or the flattering words that you have given him and he's now stumbling. So therefore you can't give. However, the says the Chavitz Chaim, it's understood that when the judge is trying this case, so let's say that he has another job that he does as well, he can't go to work because he's busy. He's busy with the case, hearing out all the litigants, weighing out the judgment to figure out what is the right thing and what is who is who is obligated and who is going to be innocent. So while the judge is there trying the case, he's not able to go to work. So he's losing his money that day. Apparently over here, the judges who says that they're getting a lot of money for being a judge. So they're missing out on their work, their business deals and, and the like. So what should they do? Says the Chavetz Chaim, if the litigants decide to pay the judge equally, they both give him whatever it is, $100 for his work that day. So then Mutalikach, that is allowed to take Mishnei Abali Adin B'Shove, as long as the two litigants over here are giving money equally, and then there's no bribery that's going to take place. If we're both supporting him equally, so he doesn't feel more endearing towards one than the other, and that particular kind of money, monetary value, that would be permitted for a judge to take. But in general, everything else is looked at as bribery, and that is a law of an iser for the judge himself to take, and it's a law of an iser for the person themselves to give. Have a wonderful day.